Hey, hey everyone, welcome back this week. It's Lori Carter coming to you from my front porch in Casadena Spiritualist Camp. And it is Animal Totem Week. I love Animal Totem Week. You know, what I fail to mention a lot of times is that, you know, even when you're on a walk, look at the animals, see the animals that you see, and look them up later when you get back. There's always a message for everyone in them. And so today we're doing the medicine cards, the discovery of power through the ways of animals by Jamie Sams and David Carson. And here it is right here. And what card was drawn today? We have the prairie dog right here. Number 47, which is an 11, a master number like it. The prairie dog is about retreat. And here we go. Prairie Dog Medicine teaches that strength and inspiration can be found by retreating into the stillness that quiets the mind. The strength of this medicine is also knowing when and how to replenish your life force. Prairie Dog Medicine people tend to seek self-empowerment in silence and inactivity where they can access dreams and visions without the intrusions of worldly chaos. When they re-enter the world, they are profound and powerful anchors of calm resolve amid, amid life's storms. The medicine of prairie dog is applicable to all of the Marmot tribe, which includes the ground squirrel clan, the gopher clan, the woodchuck clan, and the groundhog clan. Just as Native American warriors knew when to chain, charge forward and when to become invisible, the Marmot tribe knows how and when to retreat. The prairie dog runs from the for the tunnels when a predator is on its trail. In the winter, it conserves energy by hibernating during the scarce time of the cold moons. If prairie dog has surfaced in your cards today, it may be a warning that your body's fuel gauge is running low. You might need a day of silence or retreat from regular activities before you become too exhausted to carry on. Have you put your basic needs at the bottom of the to-do list? Yeah. Burning the candle at both ends may weaken the punch and you can normally pack when tackling tasks at hand. Take a much needed break before you crash and burn. Prairie Dog teaches you that in order to access gifts of inspiration and renewal, you must be at peace with yourself and rested enough to recognize the blessings behind being offered. And I just noticed I'm a little dark here in this um, picture. Interesting. If you have been battling a situation without gaining ground, Prairie Dog reminds you that pushing too hard can create a resistance that does not follow for interaction. Take a break. Give it a rest. After a comfortable and relaxed time, you can return with a fresh perspective. In the meantime, the dynamics of the situation may have changed because your retreat allows the present challenge to work itself out. There is ample strength available if you quit pushing and go with the flow. Prairie Dog says it tunnels run both ways. Now it is time to choose the back door exit for some rest and relaxation. Hope that resonated with you. I'm thinking at least in Florida we probably won't be seeing a prairie dog anytime soon. Very fun. Talk to you next week.